This was a vital match for both sides, a must-win game for Munster if they wanted to keep their Pro 12 playoff hopes alive, but also with one eye on next week's Heineken Cup quarter-final against Harlequins. Glasgow started the game knowing that a win would see them go back to the top of the table, at least temporarily, after the previous week's hiccup against Leinster in Dublin. And the good news for coach Gregor Townsend was the return of so many frontline Scottish internationals for this fixture. And one of those returning internationals made a big impact early on. Casey Lolala had a rush of blood to his head and tried a pass that doesn't come out of any coaching manual. Sean Maitland intercepted. His birthday isn't until September, but this was an early present. Five minutes on the clock and Glasgow with the lead. What Munster coach Rob Penny would have to say to Lolala, one can only imagine. But Maitland was quick to take full advantage. And when Rory Jackson converted, Glasgow were 7-0 ahead. A sellout crowd, including those in an extra temporary stand, might have been delighted with that start for the home side. But Munster worked themselves right back into the game in the 10th minute. And almost inevitably, it was Lolala who was on the end of the move to dive over for the try. Ronan O'Gara converted to make it 7-all early on. The home side may have been stunned by that and after 26 minutes, Munster went in front with a try that had Made in Munster written all over it. A powerful maul from the line-out left Glasgow scrambling. The Scots just about held the Munster men out. But when prop Dave Kilcoyne took it up close to the line, his strength was enough to get him over despite the best efforts of the Glasgow defence. The ref, Leighton Hodges, was well positioned and awarded the try. Once again, O'Gara converted and Munster were 14-7 ahead. No sooner had Munster celebrations abated than Glasgow got themselves right back into the game and once again, Munster only have themselves to blame. Nicola Matawalu intercepting Duncan Williams' pass off the back of the scrum. And the Fijian international started celebrating the try outside the 22. Such was his confidence of getting over. Williams perhaps caught out by the speed of Matawalu, but if there is such a thing as a self-destruct button on a rugby pitch, Munster were pressing it. Jackson converted, and it was 14-all. Before half-time, Jackson went on to add two more penalties, as Glasgow deservedly took a 20 points to 14 lead into the break. Ronan O'Gara narrowed the gap with a 49th minute penalty to make it 2017, but after that it was all Glasgow really. On 57 minutes, as Warriors pressed, Rory Jackson was fleet of foot from close range and left the Munster defender statuesque as he crossed over for the home side's third try. Jackson went on to convert himself to make it 27-17. Another try for Glasgow would guarantee the bonus point and with 10 minutes to go, it arrived courtesy of substitute Mark Bennett who, with his first touch of the ball, crashed through the defensive line at pace and touched down to send the home crowd into delirium. And from the celebrations of his teammates, you could see how much the bonus point meant. Delight for coach Gregor Townsend as well. And when Jackson converted, it was 37 points to 17. Next to get in on the try-scoring act was fullback Stuart Hogg. Some of Munster's tackling left something to be desired, but Hogg's pace was undeniable. A really magnificent try from a man with his eyes on a place in the Lions' travelling party. Duncan Weir converted for 44-17, but that wasn't the end of the scoring. Three minutes from time, Munster made a break in the shape of Felix Jones. He found Doug Howlett, who got the touchdown. The referee went to the TMO for confirmation before awarding the try. Howlett just getting it down before being tackled into touch and Ian Keatley converted to make it 44-24. The big crowd at Scotstoun were getting their money's worth and just before the end, there was more for them to enjoy. Keatley's pass was intercepted by big John Barkley who still had a long way to go before reaching the goal line but the Scottish international was fresh enough to get there to seal an incredible win for Warriors. Weir converted and it finished a remarkable 27-point win for Glasgow. Munster's hopes of making the playoffs look dashed, but Glasgow go into the final three matches on a real high. They've ended a run of six matches without a win against Munster, 
and significantly have taken a big step towards a home semi-final in the playoffs. Final score, Glasgow 51, Munster 24.